let's continue with our series, The Wisdom of the Autobiography of St. Ignatius. And I want to talk about what uh, Father Kevin spoke about yesterday, how as Ignatius returns from Jerusalem, he returns um, with a decision that he needs to study. Um, and he comes to that decision because he wants to help souls. Now, this is really fascinating to me because, you know, he's not that long away from his own conversion. You dial back a couple years and Ignatius was in no condition to help anybody's soul. In fact, he was probably leading people to perdition. Um, but now, after a couple of years of conversion, more or less, um, he has had the experience that when he talks to people, that he's able somehow or another to motivate them to take their spiritual life a lot better, that, that they come to him with questions about how to live holier lives, and he wants to, to help them. Um, and this is, as, as I say, just recently converted, a layman, you know, with almost no theological background or anything that really would indicate, other than a heart that's been set on fire by God, that it was something he could do. So that's fascinating that he decides that's what God is calling him to do. But what's also interesting is that he doesn't rely entirely on this passion he has to get closer to God and to draw people closer to God. He recognizes that he's going to need some sort of training, some sort of a background. Perhaps as he talks to people, they bring questions to him that he doesn't have the answers for. Perhaps he knows that this is such an unusual project for a layman or who he is to somehow try to help um, you know, other people grow closer to God that he realizes he needs to, um, to have the credentials or whatever in order to do that. So he gets to Barcelona and he sets to work to help souls to receive the training he needs. Um, but it doesn't mean that he abandons his conversations with people. He continues to draw them closer to God. But now he sets on a journey that will take him through Spain and into France in order to encounter the training he needs to be able to help souls which the Lord has placed in his heart. And that's the wisdom of the autobiography of Ignatius for today.